Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife. Six years ago when I started making videos on this channel, I decided that I was never going to sell out and never recommend a product to you that I wouldn't use myself. So that has meant that I've had to turn down companies with camera traps or bird feeders or bird houses because I looked at the product and basically I wouldn't feel comfortable telling you that it was a good thing to purchase if you wanted, of course. However, recently I was contacted by a company called Keen about this camera trap here, the Keen Ranger PT. When they told me some information about it, I got quite excited and decided I was going to go out of my comfort zone and make a video about this camera as they sent me one for free. So, what is different about this camera trap compared to other camera traps that are already on the market? First off, camera traps normally, you stick them in one place, they point in a direction and then that's it. You either get lucky and an animal walks past it or sometimes you'll just get the, the back end of an animal or you can just see it in the side of the screen. This camera solves that problem because it comes with a special app that you connect to your phone. I'll show you right now. So here's what the camera on the tree is looking at. And as you can see, if I press this to the right there, it should, oh, I'm not pressing it right, hang on. There you go. It turns the camera. Okay, so it has a full 360 degrees field of vision. It's gonna go back now. Come around and we'll see ourselves again soon. There we go. And of course, it can go up. Oh, sorry, down and up. So that's one great thing about this camera. You can point it literally any direction from where it's placed. And if there's animals there, you are probably going to get them on film. It also sends a notification to your phone if something walks past. So if you do get the back end of a deer, for example, you can quickly go onto your phone, control the camera from anywhere in the world and point it in the direction that you want it to be facing. This is all done through 4G and there's a SIM card inside there, but there is also a memory card as well. So it does film within the camera itself. You can download those things straight onto your phone. Now, another thing that this camera has, that other camera traps that I know of don't really have, is an inbuilt battery. So inside here is a battery that I've been using for four or five days so far, and it's still got more than 50%. But another thing is, if we look up here, so if I tilt you up there, this here is a solar panel that's connected to the camera. So essentially, as long as that solar panel gets two hours of sunlight a day, it will fully charge the camera trap and you'll never have to come and change the batteries. So it's got a SIM card inside, so you can see it from your phone from anywhere in the world. You can control where it's pointing from anywhere in the world. And you never have to come here to charge the batteries. This camera really is, in my opinion, a game changer for camera traps. Now, I've, as I said, I've had it out for four or five days, and this is some of the footage I've managed to get so far. For the first location, I tried the camera outside an abandoned fox den, I wasn't surprised to see this male monk jack. Unfortunately, it and this young roe deer came past whilst I wasn't at my phone, so I couldn't follow them with the camera. However, the next night, and with the camera pointing a different direction, I was on my phone whilst this male monk jack came past. See here how it is off center, and with the remote controls, I could point the camera straight at it while sitting at home more than five miles away. The movements here are a bit jumpy because I was nervous when using the controls and this can be done smoothly with a bit of practice and gentler fingertips. When the camera moves, it does make a tiny amount of noise but apparently not enough for the monk jack to hear and as the infrared LEDs are no glow, the deer had no idea that it was being filmed. Here is the same monk jack but now on the other side of the camera and up a slope. If this was a stationary camera, I'd have never been able to film both of these shots and without the 4G video connection to my phone, I wouldn't have known if I'd filmed anything at all until I collected the memory card. The Keen Ranger PT can film in up to 2K resolution and you can adjust how sensitive it is to movement. Even on a medium setting, it triggered with this deer more than 20 foot away. And here's another bit of really clear footage that the camera filmed whilst I wasn't on my phone. So if you like the look of this camera, I will tell you 
but it isn't cheap. I think it's about £289 or something like that at the moment. But there is a link for that down below. And there'll be a bit more information about the specs of the camera and all those sort of things. It's not really my area of expertise and I don't want to start talking about something that I have no idea about. So I'm going to leave this camera here in these woods. I know there's badgers around and there's foxes and there'll be other stuff as well. So fingers crossed I'll get some amazing footage soon. I'm going to get back to making British wildlife videos now. If you enjoyed this, check out this British wildlife video. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.